industry can be a little dry, so people in the business find ways to have fun. Some paint water tanks, for instance. Others are hysterical about hydrants. Go! Every year, the New England Waterworks Association holds a regional competition called Hydrant Hysteria. I just remember watching all the guys do it. I'm like, that looked like fun. I want to do this. The goal? To assemble a hydrant as fast as possible, beat others doing the same, and go to nationals. Chris Jedick and Brooke Cutta are project engineers with the Boston Water and Sewer Department. Our fastest time is 219, and our goal is just to be as fast as possible. So if we don't want to finish last, that's our biggest goal right now. Right now, the time to beat is a minute 30. So how will they shave nearly 60 seconds off their game? At first, I was putting the body on the hydrant while Brooke put the stem in the valve seat. That was taking us for a while, so we tried switching. Definitely room for improvement. How many pieces do they have to connect? I have not counted. I'm kind of scared to. A lot. Yeah. And then in an actual hydrant, there's actually even more pieces. It gives you an appreciation for what the guys do every day out on the street. And there's no skimping on practice for this team. One to two hours a week, and yeah. we kind of review video as well. We videotape ourselves and then watch that. We're competitive. I think that's the yeah. best way to use. Yeah, I think that's the best way to put it. Yeah. Hopefully, the prize is worth it. Basically, whoever wins with the fastest time, they get a um, ticket to go to the national conference. I asked my wife if she wants to go to Worcester to watch me. She's like, no. <laughs> and the Hydrant Hysteria Contest takes place in Worcester on April 3rd. We wish Brooke and Chris good luck. I don't think it's on ESPN, but, you know, maybe someday. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks very much for joining us. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good evening. Hope to see you back here tomorrow night.